Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of this Manchester United save. It's episode number 10. Season 2 is about to begin. So, where we left off. So, last season we managed to clinch the first league title post Fergie era for Manchester United. But we also fell short on penalties in the Champions League semi-finals. We lost out to Barcelona. And what makes things worse, Manchester City went on to clinch their second European title. So, that's back-to-back -back Champions League titles for the citizens. But now is my mission to disrupt that cycle this season. We have an opportunity to rebuild this squad as our first summer window. So, here goes. Donny van der Beek, he completed a 7.5 million move to Eintracht Frankfurt. The door was also shown to Brandon Williams. He left for about 5.5 3 million to Brentford. Martial left for 21.2 million to Roma. And you guys already know we was crying out for a CDM last season and Edward Camavinga fit the bill. As you guys can see, we signed him for about 60 million. He is now going to be an important player. He's on 175k per week and we've got him down to about five years, four years. And then that deal was followed up by Jaden Sancho leaving to Chelsea. We sold him for about 60 million. So it's the same with the same move that we went for in the previous save for Manchester United. So we've gone and done it again. Again. So I feel like uh, Jaden Sancho, he was probably going to trod on the toes of uh, the likes of Rashford and Garnacho, who prefer to play on the left-hand side. I don't want to uh, disrupt everything going on with Diallo on the right and Anthony. So I'd rather just sell Jaden Sancho and make the money back. With the one player that we signed and uh, several outs that we've had, we've got about $108 million left to spend of our budget. I know we started with $100 million, but you have to take into account the sales and also the transfer of uh, Levi Cole, who also made his deal permanent as well. We are also in for Antonio Silva. Uh, we did make a stipulation or come up with a stipulation where we can't sign more than two players over the rating of 80. So Antonio Silva and Camavinga seem like to be seem to be sorry the players that we're going to go for in that regard. But anything uh, underneath is free for all. So if we can find possibly a right back, any other uh, kind of squad player in other positions, we're definitely going to be going in for more faces. If not, we're going to sit back a bit and maybe wait for another window. Our style last season was wing play. We have now changed it to Jurgen Pressing. The idea behind it is to prevent or try to stop uh, the ball watching from happening as much as possible because that was something that was an issue last season, especially in the back end of the, the campaign when we lost out on a few key faces, especially with the aggression in the midfield. We missed out with, um, with Casemiro. So yeah, we're gonna try to press off the possession as lost. We are still using um a bit of a bit of whip to defend, um, but we are gonna play with a higher line still. In terms of our approach, we're gonna uh, go with direct passing. Obviously, we have no other choice to use direct passing. Otherwise, this is uh, not gonna be a system that will tick or work, especially for the backroom staff who need to like develop as a uh, Jurgen Press and coaches. And of course, we played the preseason. We didn't play exactly well. We managed to gain five points out of a possible nine. We drew two games and only won once. So we drew 1-1 against uh, Borussia Dortmund, 0-0 with AC Milan. And then uh, at the end, we played against um, a foreign side. I'm not too sure who they are or who they were before we played against them, but we battered them 4-0. But that's not what you guys are here for. You're not here for the preseason spill. You're here for um, the second season. And that's about to begin with the Community Shield. We're going to have Liverpool in this episode, Wolverhampton to kickstart our league campaign at home at Old Trafford. And then we're going to have Chelsea at the very end of the episode playing in the second league game in the campaign at the bridge. Looks like Liverpool have reinforcements on the wing. Williams Jr. Uh, he's joined uh, Liverpool from Athletic Bilbao. So I feel like uh, Liverpool are a bit stronger in that regards in the final third. I don't see any other positions being bolstered, especially the, the, the defence. Uh, I feel like if they start Konate and Virgil van Dijk, it's going to be a tough battle to break them down. We have tweaked the sliders a bit. So defensively, the AI is a bit harder, a bit more frustrating to go up against. We are going to try to field as strong a side as possible, leaving Camavinga on the bench. Casemiro's back from his injury. He's going to be a breath for fresh air uh, we're gonna leave mason mount on the bench as well replace him with kobe Mainu, and hopefully mount could get a few minutes in the second half in terms of the bench or the reserves i don't think there's any changes we really need to make i do want to start with garnacho because i've missed him since he's been out last season gonna give Bayern there a shot um in this uh in this uh we're going to call it a cup final, a, a curtain raiser. Uh, Aaron wan is still here. We are still trying to sell him. Uh, we haven't managed to find anyone that could uh, put in at least £28 million for him. Same with Harry Maguire. But yeah, I feel like these two players are good squad players regardless. So we're going to keep them around for now and see how we get on in the market. OK, let's go. The game is underway. We're attacking to the left. Liverpool, they're attacking to the right. So. 
see how our midfield can handle the pressure. I'm sure Liverpool are going to continue to play direct football. Even though we've got the likes of Castamero back running around like a madman, trying to take people's legs out. Okay, so still struggling to get the ball under control, it seems. Preseason wasn't a, a fun experience, I must say. Well, it's uh, early doors. Let's get the cobwebs out of the way. Nice ball over the top into Rashford. Go on. Van Dijk's cut across. He's out of position, that means. Oh, he's back in position now. Bruno. Casemiro. Maynou. Rashford. Just moving this ball as much as we can. Rasmus Hoyland. Maynou. Back over the top. Rasmus Hoyland. Hit across the penalty area. I was trying to cross that in to the middle. Did that deflect off a player? Should be a throw into us. What's going on with the cross then? Oh, good block in there by the Argentine. Casemiro. There we go. Rasmus Hoyland turn in the middle of the park. Float that to the left. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's go. Taken down by Luke Shaw into Rashford. Go on. Anyone in the penalty area? Rasmus Hoyland. Rival late Endo's in the way. Well done, Casemiro. The attack is still alive. Piling on the, the pressure. Bruno. Ding over the top. Go on. Oh, I thought Alejandro was going to get on the end of that. Allison uh, comes out off his line in time. Mo Salah on the ball. Oh, well done, Luke Shaw. Shuts him out. Go, going to go back to keeper. Bayern there. Lumps up the pitch. Going to flick on. Manu. Go on, go on, Nacho. There we go. Football's being played. Football's being played. Wow, on the left-hand side with Rashford. Come on. Get the bodies in the box. Rashford. Hoyland. Oh, what's going on there, Rashford? That was a poor... Pass into Rasmus Hoyland. Referee, don't do too much. He's given Casemiro a yellow. Uh, it was a late challenge. Uh, we're trying to go too direct at times. It's a tactical problem right now. Well done, Luke Short. Mainu heads it out. Rashford. Liverpool playing with a high line now. Things might get a bit dangerous for them. I did a bit too much with the acceleration. Come on. Nunez, Nunez, long shot, good block there by Martinez. Jota's on the other side now. He, he doesn't have a specific position. He, he's everywhere. Bruno, turn. Graven Birch is on him. Go on, go on, Maynou. Go on, Rashford. No, what's going on there? I've done that. That's me. That's all me. Poor position. Dribbling with it at his feet. Mo Salah. Come on, stop him, Casemiro. Well done, uh, Varane. Come on, move it. Go on. Oh, well done, Fernandez. Lovely ball to the left. Luke Shaw cushions that down. Rashford, Maynou, Maynou. Go on, play that to the right. Go on, Kobe. Plays it to the right. Oh, God, Nacho tries to drill it low. Oh, throw it. Oh, catch them off guard. Catch them off guard. Cut that back. Oh, we have Kobe on the edge. Go on, Kobe. Bruno, Bruno. Oh, Allison tested out. He tips out for a corner. Bruno. Menu's there. What a, what the... I'm not even going to question the mechanics anymore. I can't be asked. Liverpool might hit us on a break. Let's focus. McAllister. Go on, Luke Short. Well done. Well done. Back to keeper. Back to keeper. I see Rashford. Is he going to get to that referee? Well done, Rashford. Oh, there we go. Flicks it round the corner. There we go. Marcus Rashford played in by Rasmus Hoyler. Rashford. 1-0. 1-0. What a ball in behind by Rasmus Hoyland. Did they expect that from the Dane? Look at that. Marcus Rashford. He did well to out-jump uh, Trent for that ball, especially when he was getting impeded mid-air. So far, it's been a good defensive display. Let's not jinx it, though. Mo Salah. Mo Salah seems to be advancing for Liverpool. There's Endo. Go on, Luke Shaw gets a foot to that. Lovely defending. Bruno. Got Rashford on the left. There's a breakaway. There's a breakaway. There's a great opportunity here. Marcus Rashford, front goal, 2-0. 2-0 in a matter of minutes. He bags himself a brace. Uh, so we're making our first set of substitutions. And also, Camavinga's making his debut. He's replacing Casemiro. We also got Colwell replacing uh, Lissandro Martinez. They need to get our shape back. Our shape is a bit mad right now. <laughs> There's a safer uh, made by Bayern there. Let's go, Anthony. Let's go. Get round Shimakas. Anthony has Tony in the middle. Ivan Tony, left foot strike. 
I want to hope. I want to hope that 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 was blocked because that was terrible accuracy. Ball played in. Well done, Dolo. Finds Bruno Fernandez. Catches it on the volley after controlling it down on his chest. Just to trigger the trap. I knew they was going to play a ball like that. Well done, Bayern. There makes another save. Uh, he's been a good player to come in as a second choice goalkeeper. Gonna try calmly take it out from the back. The low combining with Marcus Rashford. Diogo the low has Tony in the middle. Gonna try find Tony any way, shape, or form. What we do is a simple tap in the end. 3 0 is the scoreline. It's been a perfect, perfect performance from the boys, especially getting forward defensively. Uh, Liverpool haven't really touched us, they've had. A few shots outside the penny area, but not really tested us out. Get in, get in. I told you guys, I told you guys, we are going to come back with vengeance. We are ready. Uh, I feel like this is a great statement uh, to put forth, to put down. Everybody should be on alert now. Marcus Rashford with the brace. Ivan Tony off the bench to bag himself a late goal. Okay, so we have confirmed the community shield. We are the winners, 3-0 winners to be exact. Uh, let's get in the menu, try to wrap up some deals and hopefully we can... Uh, see a few more players come in i want to see antonio silva lifting up that red shirt we have officially confirmed the move for silva he has now joined us for 49 million from benfica 27 million is what it's going to take for aaron wambasaka to be pried out of the doors of old trafford so we've agreed terms with napoli hopefully we can see the back of uh, the right back we are going to have to replace him with someone that's uh, below the overall of 80 which will be a downgrade position wise but hopefully we can find someone with great potential it's official another one bites the dust another one is out the door Aaron Wambasaka is officially leaving to Napoli let's see what the board thinks let's see what the board thinks straight up A's straight up A's they didn't give us an ace for to deal with uh, Antonio Silva they felt like we overspent oh, Wire to Brighton that's going to be an interesting one let's see if we can get 14 million out of this one I know they've uh like kind of came there with the valuation with 12.4 million okay it looks like they're not budging 12.4 million it might be for harry Maguire. chelsea they've already suffered a defeat to everton that's entertaining so wolverhampton they have the likes of savio who's going to be on the bench potentially and uh they're going to have pedro neto and savio on the same side that's going to be crazy jose saw seems to be a bench player for them i feel like uh, it's not going to be an easy start to the league campaign they're going to set up defensively of course with a 5-2 five two three formation so we're going to go back to using anthony on the right hand side i know garnacha played well we've also swapped by in there for an extra winger so we have more options on the bench so in case rashford and anthony both get tied in this game i am planning to utilize the width as much as possible get them up and down um the lines a bit uh, let's see if we can get the most out of ivan tony i feel like him starting over rasmus hoyle and we might get the most out of the forward line so without further ado let's bag the first three points in the league it's a 3 p.m kickoff we're at home in front of the home crowd let's go okay we can either get off to a good start a neutral start or a bad start <laughs> and i feel like uh we're gonna get off to a good start with this one we'll attack it to the right wolverhampton they'll attack it to the left Ready, tussling and busting for possession. Ball slipped in behind it to Cunha. Good save there by Onana. Early chance for Wolverhampton. Not taken. God, oh, almost, almost slammed away up the left-hand side. Pedro Neto. There's a ball forward. Cunha back heels it. I can't even see the ball, man. I can't even see the ball. What is going on with this? No, it's not, I don't know if it's the camera angle. I don't know what's going on here. I couldn't even see the ball there, but Bellegarde rolls that into the bottom left corner. Okay. Changing the camera back to what it was before because I really couldn't see the ball and I don't think the camera's done anything uh, to change the visuals. Look at, look at the stadium. Why does it even look like that? It's so dark. Like, it reminds me of the FIFA 07 days on uh, Xbox 360. Poor lighting. Lost some time with the slow passing. It's waiting for Delo to overlap on the right. Bruno won't trigger the run. Rashford. Go on. Ball played in behind. Rashford gets it under control, maybe. Cleared out by Dawson. Okay, second half is underway now. I feel like that goal against Wolverhampton was uh, quite annoying to concede, but we might have to deal with it when we attack up the other end ourselves. So let's just hope that it doesn't pass off in the final third. But yeah, we'll attack it to the left. Wolverhampton, they attack it to the right. I want it to start off sharp and aggressive. Which means uh, no ball watching. Defend from the front. 
Bueno. Well done, Bruno. Well done, Bruno. There's Anthony. Back into Bruno. Bruno. 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. We defended from the front. And uh, Captain Magnifico, he led by example, charging at the, the, at the player, putting him off uh, with his poor first touch. We pounced on it. Anthony gets the assist as well. So it seemed like the pressure was a bit too much. Pressing from the front, Bruno Fernandes was magnifico. I feel like uh, we've said that quite a lot so far in the series. So yeah, it's 1-1. One, one. The captain has led by example. Uh, what a way. Okay, let's uh, turn things up now. Like I said, I'm going to be a bit more aggressive off the ball. Well done, Casemiro. Well done, uh, Mount following up. Moran, so keep this ball moving in the middle of the park. Casemiro, switch that play to the left. Rashford touches it down. Mount can return it. Rashford, ball into the box, gone direct, and uh, it's almost paid off. Still a bit tricky for Wolverhampton to defend against. Casemiro was still in possession. Mount dinks it over the top. Dawson deals with it. Go on, Bruno. Up and over this wall. Up and over this wall. Bentley with the save. Well done, Casemiro. Interception. In the middle of the park. Rashford. Mount. Oh, he gets the ball back from uh, Dawson. It's a bit messy. Need to improve the patterns of play. We're going to break down Wolverhampton. It's five at the back formation is proving to be frustrating to come up against. Oh, let's go, Mason Mount. Played in behind. There we go. The box of box midfielder strikes us into the lead. It's 2 1. There's, there's an assist from Ivan Tony. Uh, the English combination in the middle of the park. Ivan Tony just turns almost a coming together from the two uh, players. But we managed to get the box of box midfielder into a good position and find him in a good position, I should say, and just drill it hard and low across Bentley's goal. Kamavinga again is making an appearance off the bench. Casemiro is being replaced by him. Rasmus Hoyland is also replacing Ivan Tony. Wolverhampton just passing it back and forth. Down the left-hand side, Kamavinga with the interception. Nothing being created by Wolverhampton in the second half. It's a good look for our defence and the midfield. Anthony has got the ball out on the right-hand side. Needs some support. Has the low. There's Bruno who finds Rasmus Hoyland, who gets around the keeper. Oh my goodness me. Eight Nuri's in the way to deny us the third. <laughs> Rasmus Hoyland almost making an instant impact off the bench. It's a waste of uh, talent. Luke Short loops that into the box. Tried to get ahead on that. Varane gets it on target with a deflection added. I swear to you, if we don't go on to win this game, that block from Eight Nuri is going to be living in my head rent-free going into the menu. Oh, no, no. Switch that play to Rashford. Take that down. Or cushions it down for Luke Short. Go on, Rashford. Ball over the top. Rashford takes it down. I thought it was going to be handball. Gets it under control. Plays it back post. Anthony also controls that down. Delo cuts that back. Mason Mount. Shot is blocked by Dawson. Camavinga keeps the attack alive. Rashford played in behind by Fernandez. And uh, his shot is denied by Bentley. We need this third goal. I uh, just hope we can continue to pile on the pressure until the final whistle. No. Okay, I thought we allowed him goal side. He chant. Well done, Diallo. Makes a key interception there. Onana clears his lines. Referee handball. No. Two minutes remaining of the three added minutes. Good interception there by Kamavinga. Go on, slip him in. Bruno's through. Bruno's through. Come on, let's make this 3 1. Let's make this through on Captain Magnifico to do the honours. He does it. He puts it to bed at Old Trafford. Uh, it's a great way to end the first game of the campaign. Captain Magnifico doubles the lead. Look at this breakaway. Bruno Fernandes running, ball in this stride. Lemina trying to catch up. He couldn't. He had to eat dust. That's all he had left. So despite the conceding early on, other than that, I don't feel I don't feel like Wolverhampton were in the game. It was really hard to break them down. Hence why it took us some time to get goals ourselves. And I feel like the main focus this season is improving defensively. Hence why I feel like I'm highlighting that more. 56% possession to their, uh, uh, I think it's 44. Yeah, 44. Um, in terms of expected goals, 0.2. I told you guys, we kept them quiet. Other than that, fluky goal that they got at the start of the game they, they didn't really create much Bruno Fernandes uh, top of the charts 
And even Camavinga got a 6.6 .6 in that last game. Um, against Chelsea, he might get a start. I'm not too sure if he's ready just yet. Um, uh, we are being questioned about Levi Cowell, who's also... He's probably gone down the pecking order because I feel like Antonio Silva's probably better than him on paper. But uh, again, I did mention during the game having a backup partnership in Cole and uh, Antonio Silva. I feel like that's going to be the future. And Harry Maguire has officially left for Brighton, 12.4 million. So it looks like uh, Lisbon were way too late. Let's see how much... Uh, how high the rating is going to be. It's going to be an ace. It's going to be an ace from the board. And Luton's finally gotten back to us. So we're going to have a bit of a race for the signature of Dan Gore uh, for the long season loan move. So we've got two championship sides battling it out for our midfielder. So the former Chelsea, former Southampton and former Newcastle United fullback has just entered the training ground. And uh, he's about to complete his medical because we have agreed terms with Newcastle for 31.5 million. Livermento, our third signing in our summer. I know his overall is not going to be higher than Aaron Wambasaka's, but like I said, he's going to have uh, better attributes to build upon and hopefully he can become our first choice right back over the low or maybe given some sort of competition. And again, they don't agree with the money that we are spending. The board's not happy. Uh, they've given us a D for decent buy. Okay, as you guys can see, Liverpool mental he's not too far off of the Diogo Dolo three overalls beneath him in terms of his pace only one um, attribute beneath him when it comes to the passing he is far off but if we can give him a whole season to develop he might not be too far come the, the end of the season defensively he has some work to do but again I feel like he's a work in progress he's much younger than Aaron Wambasaka and Diogo Dolo and who knows who knows he could probably be a first choice right back come the, come the end of the season so Chelsea they have a couple ballers in their team they've got Lukaku as their striker Leon Bailey on the right hand side Garcia he's a new midfielder that they've added Sancho obviously on the bench and Marino so uh, Chelsea really and truly they shouldn't have lost to Everton uh, maybe I shouldn't have underestimated them they may give us a good matchup Go, yeah, going into this game we have a lot of selection dilemmas to think about which is a good thing um, yeah as you guys can see this is going to be the rotated squad on the bench we have Livermento potentially making his debut against his former club Chelsea they were embarrassed on the opening day so let's pile on to their misery by getting off to a good start here. Chelsea fans probably fancying their chances against us. We haven't weakened our first team. We haven't exactly strengthened it. Uh, only really strengthening the bench, which is good, really and truly. That's what's uh, hindered us on the back end of uh, last season, not having the right quality on the bench to help us out in moments where we come stuck in games. Oh, Rasmus Hoyland. Ball over the top for Farnas there. Garcia follows up with the flick on. Well done, Dolo. Gonna go back to the defence. Martinez. Luke Shaw's got an early knock. Hopefully he confirmed that. Rashford. Camavinga. Get the ball out of your feet. He's charged by a Casado on Camavinga. Utilise them legs. Silva. Garcia drills it hard and low into Reese James. Casado carries the ball forward into the United half. There's a direct pass into Leon Bailey. Well done, Luke Shaw. Even with a knock, he's got uh, players in his back pocket. Oh, come on, Mount, wake up. Garcia into Lukaku. Come on, well done, Varane. Go on, Varane. Oh, he loses out. Bailey on his left foot. Good save there by Onana. Come on, someone stop him. He's toying with us a bit too much. And Kunku. Oh, no. Sterling driving at our, at our defence. Come on. Let's go now. Rasmus Hoyland. Burst forward with the ball. Who's that? Bruno. We're on a breakaway here. Not enough bodies uh, forward. Yep, completely outnumbered. Oh, let's go. Rashford. Oh, Try to play a direct ball in behind. And Mavinga. Gonna switch the play. Luke Shaw. Got Mount in the middle. Come on, let's turn, let's turn. Ball play to the right, the low. Take that down out of the air. Head that down. Anthony, the direct play is working out for us. Rasmus Hoyland moves the ball onto his left foot. And uh, Reese James stops him in his tracks. 31 minutes played. Still no no and uh, Chelsea. Still yet to be tested in their own penalty area. Come on, pressure. Pressure. 
can do better than this. We could do better than this, man. Chelsea are just utilising the spaces that were given them. And uh, another shot at the near post. Ball comes in. Oh, the low heads it out. Raheem Sterling on the edge of the box. I don't know what to save. I thought Lukaku was going to get on the end of uh, the rebound. He's taking his time to maybe get a shot off again or not. Dealing with his uh, former teammates. Blasting a shot at him at the near post. And again, we're going to have to try hit them on a breakaway. See if we can be successful here. Rashford still going. Still has the ball at his feet. Come on, Rashford. Mason Mount, left foot strike on the counter attack against the run of play. We have taken the lead at the bridge. And Mason Mount scores against his former club. Come on, stop him. Dolo, stop him. Well done. Momentarily keeps him at bay. Oh, come on. We've been sucked out of position with uh, Varane. Sterling's doing the most. Sterling's done the most. Garcia gets the shot off as a save made by Andre Onana with his trailing leg. Come on. Let's uh, hook this up the field and get this flicked on now. Rashford. Rashford's Hoyland. Go on, Anthony. Go on, Anthony. Anthony. Oh, he's just tired. How are you tired, man? It's only the 58th minute. Only the 58th minute. We need to bring on Garnacho. So the number six position is going to be rotated now. Camavinga is being replaced by Casemiro. We've got Garnacho replacing Anthony down that right-hand side. Oh, come on. Shield the ball. Go back to keeper again. <laughs> going to clear our lines again. Oh, come on. Well done. Rashford gets under control. Luke Shaw. Bombing forward now. He's got options. Either way, he goes for Bruno Fernandes. He's got Rasmus Hoyland. And then that pass is just... Pass is so poor from our captain. When we've got other players moving around off the ball to show support. Oh, uh, Casado. Oh, tries to play one in behind. We've just given up possession. We've resorted to allowing Chelsea to have the ball. And just hitting them on the break. But to be fair, Chelsea haven't really done much with it. Just passing it around in space. We're just going to not commit anybody into a challenge let's just uh, lead them to do what they're doing go on Luke Shaw drills it into the middle Bruno the low I, I, I tried to get Garnacho to move around tried to find space but we couldn't uh, we managed to win 1-0 I'm, I'm disappointed with the way we've ended this episode because uh, we wasn't on the front foot the way we were against uh, Liverpool and Wolverhampton the thing is we tried to make several changes to try to get the energy going in the midfield and nothing was going for us as you guys can see 0 0.5 we didn't create much uh, so it, it seemed like we were the side that was just a uh, uh, settling for crumbs out there um, but yeah we got the victory which is the most important thing is not the style of football that we want to play but we had to play it nonetheless to get over the line uh, Onana got the man of the match award as he had to deal with quite a few shots in the first and second half and uh, Mason Mark got a goal and only ended on the 6.8 that's how shocking we played um, going forward uh, hopefully in the next episode you guys will see um, a more well um, oiled machine Aside us uh, gelling together because uh, right now the switch of tactics is probably having an effect on how we're playing in game. So guys we're in the menu now after that victory against Chelsea the last game of this episode. Um, in terms of the next one though we're going to be taking on uh, maybe a, a team in the Champions League and then we're going to have Newcastle United because yeah we're going to be playing uh, this the uh, next game off camera against Aston Villa. Then we're going to have the transfer deadline day. Some of you guys will have to let me know what you think of our first summer window in the comment section below because I feel like we've been successful we managed to bring in the likes of Camavinga addressing the CDM position we've got quality depth at centre back now that we've got Antonio Silva in and uh, he's uh, potentially going to be able to take over Rafa Varane maybe in the future Livermento a player that we can develop into a better right back a better full back and he can be an all rounder as well we can work on him defensively for the uh, first half of his development this season and then the second half uh, attacking wise because um, yeah if we can have someone that's more balanced compared to Aaron wan and the low have a bit of both in the player then I feel like we're going to have a player on our hands on the right hand side in terms of Martial and uh, Maguire Aaron wan that's Deadwood that we definitely needed to get rid of and Mason Greenwood some of you guys may kill me in the comment section uh, below for playing on the fence again I know you guys either want to see the back of him or see him in a red shirt but I feel like loaning him out one more time will give us more time to, to decide whether we want him in the squad or not and on top of that he can build on his value because he will increase 
recent overall and um yeah uh, we have more options and more decisions to make come the end of this season so yeah Mason Grill was at Real Madrid uh, for for another season he's loaned out and we've got more decisions to make in terms of the squad um contract so we have a few players running down their contract at the moment so we have 10 months left for McTomney the likes of Pellistri, Fish, Medjbury and the list does go on the likes of Pellistri I feel like he's fifth choice in terms of the pecking order on the wing and I feel like we do need to give him some uh, some sort of experience in the first team to see whether he's good or not uh, good enough or not sorry and in terms of uh, McTomney I feel like he's a good squad player to have but whether he's going to be useful beyond the season who knows so we have to give him some more time um, on the on the playing field just to find out guys let me know what you think of this episode by smashing that like button subbing to the channel if you are new and also hitting the notification bell so you're notified when I go live premiere video or upload one um, I would love it to I would love to see you guys drop comments in the comment section below let me know what you think of the rebuild like I asked you guys um, about the signings the uh, uh, moving players on and also uh, i see you guys asking about the sliders i'm going to include that in the link in the description below um it's one of the main reasons why i've taken so long to upload because i've not enjoyed the sliders that i've been using but now i'm kind of getting used to the gameplay again it's still a bit iffy for me but we'll try to persevere and find something that's um that that We'll just need to find the sweet spot when it comes to the slider. That's all I really want to say. If you um if you if you enjoyed this episode, I hope to see you guys for episode number eleven. Sorry if you got the feedback from me knocking the mic. Uh, take it for now. Peace.